Well, three words is a global address system. Uh, we've named every three meter square uh, in the world with a unique combination of three words from the dictionary. So by saying something like uh, table, chair, spoon, you're referring to one uh, three meter square in the world somewhere. It's a really big privilege to receive the Geospatial Startup of the Year Award. Um, I think you know, to get an industry recognition, given that we came originally from outside the industry, um, that people feel that we are relevant and useful uh, to both their business and their customers' businesses, um, really that's an enormously um, valuable recognition for us and uh, we're really delighted. I'd struggled for years trying to use latitude and longitude um, to coordinate deliveries for music events, actually. A long string of numbers are quite awkward for people when you're using these manually in everyday life. And a lot of the other grid systems available were really long and complicated too. So the idea was, let's use words, because there's so many words, you only have to have three in the sequence. And three words is just so easy for everybody to grasp. We just use the latitude and longitude to generate the three word addresses with our algorithm. So we actually don't use an address or a postcode or anything which is much bigger um, than three meters. We just use a latitude and longitude. So it's just very granular and consistent throughout the world. What three words is being used by postal service companies uh, in Mongolia. It's being used um, by uh, the, you know, the World Bank in Tanzania is being used um, by navigation apps like NavMe all over the world. Um, we have emergency services responders using it, music festivals, um, delivery companies in Rio de Janeiro. I mean, I think so many times where an app or website tries to help people get to their destination or to get objects to where they're going, um, those are the kind of businesses who are using us um, at the moment. Having an accurate location is something of a right today. I mean, we're using postcodes and addresses which were designed decades or centuries ago to sort mail, and we're trying to use them as a lookup to a very precise latitude and longitude. They're not really um, the right things for the job, and nowadays people expect everything in their lives to be precise and error-free. And this is really one of the last things which has still got so much error and ambiguity in it about our everyday lives. I think people demand to have better and something really simple yet accurate. A lot of people believe in our vision and want to be on side and help us um, get global adoption of what three words. I think actually having a, an unconventional idea is a, is a lot easier for people to buy into rather than if you're trying to do what everybody else is doing. Um, but there aren't many people who reimagine coordinates and addresses um, on a big scale very often and I think people see that as a really compelling opportunity. The road ahead for us, we've got a big um, product launch coming this year where we have uh, voice support for the three words so that you could just get into a car and say three words and it will take you to where you want to go or to your smartwatch or to your device. Um, and, and as well as that, it's really more integrations, more collaborations, which bring us more consumers and just getting this ecosystem going even more in more countries. Um, it's, that's really what we have planned.